Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. Krotos Studio provides a quick and effective way to create all kinds of sound effects for TV and film projects. There are 25 categories to choose from, and in this video, we'll be exploring the room tone category. When you're working on audio post projects, having suitable low-level background ambience for interior scenes is an important part of the track lay. Within this category, we have a number of presets, and each one can be performed and manipulated in real time using the XY pads here. Let's start with house interior. Here we have a dialogue scene which takes place in a kitchen, and to begin with, it's just dry dialogue. I guess this is our first official date, unless you're counting the other night. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so you may have noticed I've already added a subtle reverb to the dialogue, but this is a good, simple example to start with as far as room tone goes. The characters are sitting at a table in a fixed location, so we probably don't need much variation in the room tone. Here, I have a track, and I've called it Room Tone. On this track, we have Krotos Studio. I've chosen to put this onto the track, but you could also run it as an audio suite plugin, or you could have it as a completely standalone application as well. So with the house interior setting, if we start this, you know, we can alternate between bathroom or living room or neither. And on the right hand side of the XY section, we have kitchen or dining room or any blend of the two. So maybe I have it largely kitchen, maybe with a hint of living room. Okay, and if I was happy with that, I could of course drag this to the track. However, that's gonna have all of those dynamic changes in it. So what I'm gonna do with this scene, now that I've established that as a static setting, I'm just gonna run the scene and start this going. And of course we can turn this down, you know, that's a greatly exaggerated level at the moment. I'll turn down on the track. I guess this is our first official date, unless you're counting the other night. Mm. It's delicious. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so let's skip ahead to where this is done. So, so this is run for the duration of the scene. Now we just simply drag that to the track and play it back. I guess this is our first official date, unless you're counting the other night. <laughs> mm. So you get the idea. It's an effective room tone. It underpins the scene. It bridges the dialogue edits. But now let's take a look at how you can use Krotos Studio for more complex room tones. So now I'm in essentially an empty session. We've just got an aux track with Krotos Studio on it. And within this, we're still in the room tone category. Let's try laboratory. So start this running. Maybe we move this over to bio lab. This one more over to machinery. And if the scene changes, maybe someone moves through the scene, different locations, you want some variance, you can perform this in sync with video and the changes happen on the fly as you do them. Once you're happy and you've covered the entire scene, hit stop, it creates the audio file and you can just drag that to a track and you've got it in the session. And that's great, however, in Krotos Studio Pro, you can also drag the stem. So dragging this, we get all four component parts. See, so we've got the bio lab, we've got the compressors, machinery and tank room. And you could pan those or process them as you see fit. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more examples. Let's try industrial room. Fume extraction. One more over to industrial room two. Maybe pneumatic tools. As you can see, there's great scope for variation in this. And then you just drag that to your track, and once again, it's an audio file. You'll notice in the room tone category, there are some things which are exteriors, so fields and farms, for example. I'd say that there's a little bit of crossover here between the ambiences category, which has cities, forests, suburbs, and so on, and the room tone category. So perhaps Krotos could recategorize some of these in the future. So if you are looking for a room tone or an ambience, it's probably worth checking both categories. For example, fields and farms, it's an exterior. So personally, I would have been more inclined to categorize this in the ambiences section. Let's see what else we have that is an interior. Machine room. And once again, if I wanted those stems, I could drag those out 
and it puts them onto tracks. We've got full control to do whatever we want in the mix. Okay, let's just take a look at some of the ones which have found their way into the ambiences section. For example, apartment. So maybe you have a scene which takes place in a city apartment. Maybe you can hear some people next door. Perhaps it shifts over to where you can't hear them, but you can hear more of the exterior near an open window. Along with that, we could have some air. Or maybe the hum of something in the room. Perhaps an aircon unit. Maybe we move back to where we can hear those people again. Very good. And then, as before, simply drag it to a track and you've got that very easily like that. Just one more, moving back into the room tone category. Let's try quiet room. This is something which is often difficult to do because what does a quiet room sound like? Well, let's click it. Sort of low level background noise. Remember, you can make this as quiet as you want when you come to actually balance this. But let's experiment with these controls. And of course, you can drag those controls as quickly or as slowly as you want. And by adding these variations, Krotos Studio really helps to make the room tone sound realistic and not just completely static. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. For more information on Krotos Studio, visit krotos.studio. Thanks for watching.